All right, Rooks cards back here. We got a HGA reveal coming up. Just got it back today. Uh, this one took a little time. Um, sent it back in July for 60 day, give or take. It usually takes about 90 days, business days, you know, with that. Um, this was a few weeks over that. Uh, I know HBA, HBA, HGA was hit with uh, the Corona. Um, which I know set their staff back. Um, but mine finally came in. Now, just trying to remember, because I don't want to look at my list, because they, they send you now with the order, you know, once the, the grades are in, they'll send you the grades ahead in advance. I purposely don't look at it. I like to be surprised um, at the unboxing. So I don't have uh, um, a list of what's in here. I do think, in fact, I know, I just don't know what else is mixed in. There should be a lot of Voltani in here. Um, that was obviously during the summer when I sent these in. Um, I was looking to get back some of the Voltani rookies and, and uh, some some rookie inserts that I that I thought. So I know there's at least what Bowman a 2018 Bowman Chrome rookie in here, and there's probably some finest um, freshman. Is it freshman flash? Is that what they call it? I think I sent a few of those in that I looked that I thought looked pretty good. Some heritage. Um, rookies um, so should be mostly a, a lot of Otani in here and I'm not sure what else I, I may have sent so all right let's uh, let's get into it here so here we go again HGA now let's uh, let's see how we do Just try not to look at it Oof. Let's get these all out. Let's see. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something loose here. All right, try not to look. Let's get the box empty over here. All right, uh, okay, we'll keep that upside down. And keep these upside down. All right, so yeah, the first one's an Otani. We'll just kind of. Get the packaging out of here. Okay. So here we go. I don't think there's any autographs. I mean, not the Otani. I don't have any. The only Otani auto I had, I sold a while back. So this should be just rookies, and I might have, like I said, there could be a couple other stuff mixed in. Okay, here's the first one. This is, this looks like. This is the tops. This might be tops gold pot potentially. I'm not even sure which one this is. All right, let's see how we did here. And we get a nine. Yeah, it is tops gold label. Okay, this one I got at a show, and I was kind of hoping for a nine. Of course, you always hope for nine fives. We know how hard uh, uh, HGA grades, but. Nines are obviously still good. So anyway, bought this card at a show. So it's a Topps Gold label. Got a nine back. So there we go. Here's another little tiny. These are the finest. They're the Topps Chrome Freshman Flash, I think they are. I think I sent a couple of these in. Uh, I like the look of the card. I think it's sharp. And we'll see if I got some nine fives. That's what I was hoping for. I sent them the best ones that I had. I got a, probably bought about almost ten of these or so. I picked out the, the top two or three that I thought were had the best chance. And we got a 9.5. Okay, there we go. So they agreed with me there. We got a 10 on the surface, a 10 on the corners, and then 9.5. 8.5 on the centering. I don't know how they could center these. Like, if I knew that about the centering, it was, it's difficult to figure out what the hell the centering is on these. But the centering uh, dropped it down to an 8.5. But I don't know how you can tell, really. Anyway, 10 on the surface. I don't know if I've ever got a 10 on the surface in all of my HGA submissions, which is probably up to about 60 to 70 cards now. I don't know if I have ever had a 10. So that's pretty cool. 10 on the corners, 9.5 edges, and the 8.5 on the centering. I just I have no idea to tell the centering else. I may not have sent it in. Anyway. All right, here's, I think this is probably one of the heritages. I'm not sure. Looks like it is the back of it anyway. I sent my best ones into these. 
95. Okay. Very good. 10 on the surface again. Pretty sweet. Back to back 10 surfaces. This is 9, 5, and a 10 all around. So this is as close to a freaking flawless as you can get. 9, 5 on the corners, edges, centering, and a 10 surface. Alright, here's another one of the. Uh, I was right, Freshman Flash, but it's Topps Chrome, not Finest. Let's see how we did on this one. Got 9.5 on the other one. 9.5 again. And this one, the centering was better. Didn't get a 10 on the surface, but got 9.5s all around, except for the centering got a 9. See, the reason why I like this card uh, is it's got the rookie insignia. You know, it's not as true rookie out of the uh, out of the Chrome. But I love the card. You know, it's got the refractor. It's a sweet picture of, of Voltani. And... Uh, you know, I figured rather than explosion for the rookie, as this stuff obviously took off big time over the summer, uh, I was like, you know what, this is a pretty cool rookie subset card, and I thought it looked sharp in the uh, in the uh, you know the HGA slabs. So, all right. Next up is this the uh, this is I think is his tops chrome. Uh, rookie, I think. Again, it's another Otani. I thought this was the Otani order, and it certainly is. So this is Top's Finest, and I got a 9. This is also one I bought online. So I was hoping for a 9.5. Ended up with a 9 gem mint. Or, net, oh, I'm sorry, mint. 9.5 corner... 9.5 edges and 9s on the centering and surface. Okay, so that's my finest. We got a finest first Otani. 9.5. Ooh, three. Oh, man. I got three tens on this thing. I've never. That's a first for me with HGA. Three tens and the corners knock me off of this finest. Wow, this was almost a flawless. Three tens. Wow. Nine five overall. So this is his, uh, his finest uh, rookie. Wow. Wow, I'm just impressed. Three tens. Pretty cool. Um, is this another, what is this? Is the Bowman's Best coming up? This is another Finest first? I'm not sure what this one is. Another Otani, though. And, 9-5. Okay, this is Bowman's Best. So I get a 10 on the centering this time. 9-5s everywhere else. So these Otanis are all coming back very good. I have to say I'm pretty, pretty pleased. All right, we got a DeAndre Hopkins rookie, rookie coming out of uh, this is Contenders. I got a ten on the autograph and nine five. Here we go. This is his uh, Contenders rookie ink. Pretty sweet. Got a nine five on it. Ten on the edges. Ten on the surface again. Eight five on the corners. I don't know why I didn't like the corners. I thought they looked good. And uh, 10 uh, or 9 in the centering. There we go. We got a Manny Machado. This was out of the uh, Elite. Got a 10 in the autograph. This card I thought was a 10. I mean, if there's a chance in this whole thing of getting a 10, it's this one. And we got a 9.5. Oh well. I didn't get a single 10 actually. 9 in the corners, 9 5s on the others. And last and least is my Gary Sanchez. I was trying to sell this card online forever. This is an Aspirations out of the same set, uh, Extra Edition. Got a 10 on the auto. And I figured, well, let's get it graded. And we'll see how it does. We got a 9. Only a 9. 
Eight five on the corners. Corners look good to me. Ten inches, nine five, nine, so we got a nine on it. That's it. So I was right, it was a big time uh Otani order. But uh, I have to say, you know, let's see what the final tabulation is. Nothing less than a nine, so that's always pretty good. We actually got uh, <clears throat> we got three nines and seven nine fives, so not bad. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. We'll have more uh, more breaks, more reveals. And more fun coming up on Rux Cards. So uh, stay tuned. Appreciate you joining me. And uh, we'll talk to you all soon. Take it easy.